Do you like free stuff? I know I do, and I think you're going to like this one. In 2009, according to FCC.gov, all broadcast television is going to be converted to digital broadcast television by 2012. Well, 2012 has come and gone, and they have indeed gone to digital broadcasting exclusively. So now we have all these radio waves flying around between the 200 and 900 megahertz frequency, and not a single one of them has a price tag on it. All you have to do is know how to harvest those waves, and you can have free digital TV. Why am I the guy to tell you about this? Well, I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. I'm proud of it. I love this kind of thing, and it's going to be an absolute pleasure for me to tell you guys how to build this digital antenna. So having said that, if you have the proper equipment, tools, parts, and a little bit of knowledge, you can build your own digital TV antenna. As you saw in the previous picture, there will be several items that you'll need to build this antenna. You can get most everything from Radio Shack, Home Depot, or Lowe's. You'll need a ruler. You'll need a length of coaxial cable. The length depends on how far you want to attach your TV antenna from the TV. You'll need a pair of pliers, a pair of wire cutters, a soldering iron. Of course, with a soldering iron, you'll need solder, flux, very sticky tape, packing tape works well. A ballon or wave transformer. You can get these off of Amazon for about 41 cents. Um, maybe a little shipping will be involved. You can send me your ad address and I'll send you one for free. You might need a pin. You will need 10 lengths of wire. Two of those lengths will be 24 inches long. And the other eight lengths will be cut to 18 inches long. You will also need to go to Dollar General or someplace like that and get yourself a piece of foam board for about a buck. Now that you have all that, we can start building this great antenna. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to take your eight 18 inch long pieces of wire and bend them in half so that you have two 9 inch legs, like so. You want to have a 30 degrees bend right here. That comes out to be about 5 inches between the tips. You will want 8 of those. And then you have your two 24 inch pieces. You're going to have a slight bend every 8 inches. That's about 10 degrees. You're going to want 1.5 inches between here and here. They cross here and you're going to want 1.5 inches from here to here. Notice, underneath this wire, you'll want to put a piece of tape so the two wires do not touch. Same with down here. Look at this diagram with the dimensions for a moment. Okay, so now you've seen the diagram, so that gives you a clear idea of how your wiring is going to lay out on your board. Uh, I would take your foam board and trace it out. Use your ruler, get everything right, and trace it out before laying your wires down. Then over your traces, lay your wires down and tape them like I have here. Once you have them all taped and they match the dimensions that you saw in the diagram, you can go ahead and solder at all the points that were supposed to be soldered. That is also on the diagram, as you noticed, I'm sure. Then, once you have all that done, soldered and taped down, right here in the very center is the ballon. You should be able to see that. Cut a small slit in the middle there, stick the wires from your ballon through the back side of your board. It will come out the front here, you will, you will solder one lead to the middle of this wire, and then you will solder the other lead to the middle of that wire. Once you have all that done, your antenna is finished. You've done it. Not so hard, was it? So now you've learned the parts that you need, you know where to get the stuff, you know what tools you need, and now you know how to build this antenna. So now's the time you go over and you call that stupid cable company and tell them to kiss. Actually, just tell them you want a disconnect service. Thanks for watching.